Hey everyone, so today I thought I would kind of share with you my kind of my camping setup for photography. I've been working on this for quite some time, just buying stuff here and there to get it to where I want it to be. I kind of wanted to share with you some of the stuff I use to make my camping experience kind of comfortable and convenient for photography. Now you might ask yourself, do you need this stuff for photography? Obviously not. If you just have a ground tent, you know, sleeping bag, a pillow, you're pretty much good and set, you know. But for me, I've been kind of camping for two years on and off, and I've quite enjoyed the activity of camping. So I wanted to make something a bit more comfortable for me in the long run. And like I said, as a photographer, it's important for me to be comfortable where I'm going. It just makes me a happy person, and I can probably take better pictures because of it. And it's also about convenience as well. Some of the stuff I use just because it solves a problem when I'm camping. If I don't have access to something, I need to figure out a way to do it. This is pretty much it. The first thing I got on my Jeep was my Tapui tent and my roof rack. It's a Gobi Rack Stealth Ranger and it fits the Tapui tent that I have, the Kukanam Sky Ruggedized three person tent. And it fits exactly on the rack like it's a match made in heaven. So I really like this combination. That's the first thing I installed on my Jeep was those two. I went with it camping once, kind of testing it out. It was really, really comfortable, you know. So then I kind of decided how I can make my Jeep a bit better and that's when I got the awning right behind me that you can see. This is an ARB awning. It just goes, you can see it's not too big. It just gives me some some place to kind of set up, you know, under if it's raining really bad, which often, as a, you know, it happens while I'm camping. It's just raining like nonstop and I need to have a place to have a bit of shelter. So this is really easy. It packs right inside you know on the side of the rack and when I need it I just open it up so it's really convenient to have that I didn't go crazy on stuff that I know I'm not gonna need I just everything here pretty much solves this problem like a solution I used to when I used to sleep in a tent I used to kind of still be comfortable somewhat but I never really had a good night's sleep in a tent sleeping on the floor it was always uneven always uncomfortable and it was always a problem when it's raining, the tent would get really dirty and stuff like that. So with this tent being on top, first it keeps away animals, you know, that might get curious. So I feel safer, my mom feels happier because she thinks bears can't get me. But, you know, bears are excellent climbers. There's a lot of mosquitoes here today. <laughs> so yeah, you know, so I like it because also when it rains, it's just water on the tent. There's no mud on the tent to clean it every time. You just pack it away, dry it up and it's good to go the next time you go camping. So it's really, really convenient. You have it with you on your car whenever you want. You can even camp in locations that are not specifically made for campsite. You know, you're off the ground, you can just open it up pretty much anywhere, which gives, allows me to be maybe a bit more adventurous in my camping locations rather than just, you know, pretty much camp anywhere, even in the, in the wild forest, which, you know, sounds kind of nice, you know, to do as a trip for photography. So yeah, so moving on from that, I I would say the second thing I kind of needed for my camping setup was a battery that I can charge my camera, my video camera, my photo camera, my cell phone, a drone if I'm using one, you know, if I, any little stuff that I need. So I, I opted for the Goal Zero 400 watt. It's a really nice uh, battery pack. It's like plug and play. You just plug everything and you have two plugs, you have USB plugs, you have electric plugs, USB plugs, you have a 12 volt, uh, you know, like the car, like the car plug. So, and you can charge this off the car, you know, when you're driving, which I think it should work really well. And you can also charge it via solar panel and it's also plug and play. You can actually charge this off a wall panel in your house or off your car battery when you're driving, or you can charge it by solar. And so that's why I got the, uh, the 100 boulder briefcase which kind of packs up small it's really convenient and it's kind of folds like a mechanism and it opens up you can set it up anywhere and it's also plug and play just take the wire plug it into the goal zero and right away it's charging off the sun <coughs> so for me it's kind of fun experimenting with the goal zero and the solar panel do you really need a solar panel i would say not you can pretty much just charge it off the car or charge it in your house outlet and make sure it's ready before a trip but what I like about the solar panel is that also it's convenient because you can pretty much plug it into where you're camping, 
middle of the day when it's sunny and bright you can just charge your device make sure you always have enough battery to charge whatever you need and whenever you're not when you're driving from one location to the other you can just plug it into your car charger and that should help out as well so for me this is kind of the setup that i would kind of use for my camping you know it's the tent is really comfortable the awning really help the battery pack and the uh, solar panel because i eventually plan to do this summer like maybe a longer trip going away for two weeks just going from one part to the other so it's convenient to be on the road i don't have to worry about where am i gonna go back to charge or making stops that are out of my way just so i can charge my gear this way i can charge on the road while i'm camping and it's really really convenient and um yeah but do you really need all the stuff to be a better photographer not really not at all i'll stress that out i just kind of wanted to share my setup that makes me comfortable and makes me kind of enjoy this experience really really well so honestly like it is this stuff can get expensive when you buy it but i didn't buy it all at once i just bought it gradually here and there i kind of been setting it up for like a year so it's not like if you buy it all at once it might be a bit hectic i kind of felt like that too but you know you buy it one at a time and you know once you have it you just don't need a replacement you know you just got it i was looking at kind of getting a fridge for my food that you can plug into the goal zero one of those domestic fridges or the arb fridges the problem is that a 40 liter fridge are like one over 1k so it, it didn't really justify the price of buying it so i ended up just getting like a bigger big cooler that i use and just put ice in it in the meantime it works you know you just have to buy ice and just keep buying replenish ice as you need it you know, so eventually maybe i'll i'll opt to get an electric fridge that i can leave in my trunk of my car and plug into the goal zero to operate it which you know which, you know they're 12 volt fridges so they work really well in you know not using a lot of power i think you know, i have no idea but um eventually i think i'll get one but not right now i don't think it's an important purchase i think i'd rather use that for gas money to get to the places i want to go to and taking pictures i think that's the important decision at the end of the day is just getting to the locations that get me more pictures and that's for me that's the most important so this is just to make it more comfortable when i'm at that location honestly like if i were to just go camping just for the camping part take out the photography i still enjoy that activity on its own just camping and hiking even if i didn't take pictures i think i would still do that because it's just it's fun to camp it's fun i enjoy it when i'm done taking pictures i like to sit by the fire and just take it all in and just enjoy it so yeah so this is kind of the video i wanted to share with you guys if you have any questions about any of the stuff that i talked about drop me a comment i'm happy to answer it i really love questions and i love answering them just kind of sharing with you guys how what my camping setup is i guess the only thing i would say that's kind of an issue with the having a rooftop tent and maybe the the awning as well is that once you set up camp you pretty much kind of locked to the campsite the only way to drive away you have to pack up everything the tent the awning which can take some time but i'm sure it gets faster as you do it so actually a quick solution for that for me was just i invested in getting a like a, a bike rack for my jeep that just sits on the on the back wheel it's out of my way and i can take my bike with me and i can use that pretty much to kind of go around getting stuff going in the park it's actually a fun way to get some exercise as well and it's quite a fun activity during the day to do that so yeah i think you know in terms of setup time i would say this is faster for me because i've gotten used to setting it up and it doesn't take that much time to to open it just take off the cover of the tent and just flip the ladder over and the tent is already erect so for me i always fuss with ground tents and they always take a little long time to set up so for me this is actually faster you know but then again you know everybody every tent will have its ups and downs i guess for me this has more ups and downs so i quite enjoy it you know it's plus to mention the mattress inside it's just amazing it's like a three inch mattress it's much more comfortable than you can you, whatever you can carry in your tent you know so you can always get a thicker mattress for a ground tent and be comfortable as well but i like the fact that the mattress is built in so you just once you open it you throw in your cover your pillows and you're good to go 
So thank you guys for watching and if you like this video just hit the subscribe button or leave me a comment. Hit that like button as well, it would be much appreciated. See you guys.